So we have a question about controlling POA annua, whether that's in the winter or on home lawns. So a couple of different situations there. So um, POA anna is annual bluegrass. It's found everywhere in the world. There's no place that they have never not found annual bluegrass. Puts out a are we are, are are we talking all seven continents here, Rob? I, we are actually we are. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's I, I was amused by that. I'm like, where do they find it in Antarctica? But that, I believe you. I believe you. Yes, we so, do. So, um, it's it's very prevalent now. The issue is is that and 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 when when people know that they have it, they see the seed head in their lawn. So they go out and we get the right conditions. Um, annual bluegrass loves extra water. So if you're a person that might overwater your yard a little bit, uh, maybe we had a big rain event and we didn't back our irrigation off, whatever the situation is, Poa Anna loves water. So you start to see the seed head. So people want to get rid of that. Now we run into an issue and Bruce and I talked about this a couple of weeks ago where many of the other products that are available in our industry are not labeled for home lawns. So we don't have Exonerate and some of these Poa, Poa Cure is a common, they're labeled for golf because that's the market that the manufacturers have chosen to sell their product into. So when they went and got EPA registration, they didn't get it for home lawns. So the home lawn guy that sees the seed head, knows he has annual bluegrass coming up, knows he has a poa issue, and wants to try to control it, doesn't have all the tools in his toolbox to be able to take care of the annual bluegrass. So when I talk to people that want to get this under control, they want to be able to try to get somewhat of a handle on it. They ask me, you know, what can I do with my home lawn? Now, things that we can do for poa anna is one, you do get, and if you look at the dimension to EW label, it does talk about POA control. It is not perfect. There's no silver bullet for the lawn care market for POA control, but getting on a good dimension pre-emergent schedule, spring and fall would be the best if possible. That's going to help you get that POA under control. Now, the other thing you can do is you can look at, um, we have two very good herbicides for um, for home lawn, grassy weed control. That's one of the hardest things to control in your lawn are grassy weeds. They're just like, they're very much like the, 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 the turf grass that we're growing. So many of the herbicides tend to be a little hard on our turf grass, especially in the cool season market in the northern part of the United States. So the two herbicides that I recommend, and again, they're not the silver bullet. They're not going to completely take it out immediately. But if we get on a year after year program, we can start to eliminate that Poa Anna over time. Um, those would be Tenacity, which, which has Poa Anna on the label. Um, what I like about Tenacity is it's got a, it's a very low rate per acre. So we're not using a lot. It's easy to mix up in backpack spot spray situations. And then the other one would be any of our formulations that have Quinclorac, which would be like Drive XLR or Q4 Plus, Quincept um, would be another example. So utilizing those two post-emergence along with a good dimension program will give us kind of what we're getting in the golf market. But obviously, again, the products that are available in golf that really work well are not available to our home lawn situation. So Rob, if somebody out there is listening to you talk right now, oh, Poa Cure, that, oh, Rob mentioned Poa Cure, that would take out Poa Annua. Hey, I know a golf course friend of mine, maybe he could buy me some Poa Cure and I could just put it on my lawn, what would you tell that person? I would tell them that, remember, we had this conversation and actually I did a training last month about the label and regulations. And remember, the label is the letter of the law. It is a legally binding document that's put out by the manufacturer. They've applied to the EPA and they've gotten approval. They've gotten approval for the key part is certain sites. So... It's allowed to be used. So when you look at a product, you look at where it's allowed to be used. Is it labeled for golf? Is it labeled for sports turf? Is it labeled for home lawns? Is it labeled for vegetation management? Whatever the situation is, but that specific product is only labeled to be used in certain places. So Polacure, yes, 
The golf course superintendent could buy it. He could give it to you, but then you would be violating the letter of the law. You would be violating the label because it is not labeled for your situation. 